Hello and welcome in this fine episode about the Series S. Uh, I'll show you the picture instead of taking it uh, under the microscope. I don't know if you are able to see. I can probably see that there is a metal thingy inside, but I've got it better on the picture, so be right back. So now you see, yes, this is more vivid. It's not perfect, but it's better than it was. So you see that uh, this top thingy, it's a pin. The first one on the left, uh, on this one, which is the first on the right, which is the recognizing pin for the uh, HDMI view. So <laughs> it is unfortunate. Uh, we need to help this customer. I've got these ports in stock, so I will open it off camera because it's, you know, it's, you know, it will take your time. The serial number, it's finishing with 13117 for the customer, if customer would like to verify later. It's original sticker, so there was nobody um, else before us. Uh, what else I can say? My name is Peter, for those who don't know or Piotr Fisner, full proper Polish name. Guys, fingers crossed for those who don't know, if there is no short to the HDMI encoder, because I don't have these in stock, I've got for one, one S, I've got for one S and one X in stock. I don't have for Series S nor for Series X. I think it's time to get them because these consoles start to show up, especially Series X. Um, so yeah. For now, let's focus on getting this one open by the magic of YouTube, yes. And then once we get it open, we can see uh, if that will be a quick job or unfortunately not. And we will need to order an HDMI encoder. I did test it, so I've seen that. This is booting up, this was able to connect to my gamepad. Uh, and I seen as well that it's a no sig. It is recognizing that something is, but that pin, which you know, which should be there, it's not hooking up with a signal. So that's us. Be right back. Okay, just a quick intro for those who don't know. Okay, so this need to go out first. You had two screws on the sides behind those thingies, and then what's happened? you can go out and then you've got these screws the green ones in all the xboxes are the long screws and you need to take them out before taking this one from this plastic then once you've got those green ones then you can take the rest yes and those green ones uh, one two three four five six seven okay i don't remember how many is in each xbox i just take them out in the older xboxes uh, it was written F number for the long screws here it's unfortunately no and you've got two torques this one torques and this one is one size and black one is just a slightly smaller I think eight the bigger one is ten so that's it and off you go okay so once you've got green screws out yes we can take it out okay voila uh, hmm not bad quite tidy uh, surprise so now you can remove those cards this this and this yes uh, with the smaller one and good that I didn't show you because my aqua drill was out of battery be right back I'll unscrew those boards and actually I could take out those as well at the bottom but I'll do the cards first Okay, so boards are out. Now we can lift up this one. That's your Xbox inside. To take everything out, all we need to do is get the rest screws out, the silverish one, and then that's us. We can take Xbox out and the clamp as well here on those four ones. Okay, guys, let's do the last screw officially. And let's see what Postman brought in, because I've got no idea. Quite curious. So let's get the patient on the side and let's get this open. It's lightweight. I don't know what I've ordered with it. So lightweight. I should know, because I've ordered it. Wow, C 
CPC electrolytic capacitor and jack. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I ran out of capacitors. Wow, they put so little. They could put it in, and a CPC sometimes has an overkill, as you see. And uh, yeah, I need these jacks for for the taxi. For this one, okay. I need to uh, install here a new jack. So that's for the taxi and these ones I just bought like random capacitors electrolytic capacitors because I'm running low on them so I want to have like from one microfarad to 1000 microfarads and I said to myself you know like why not uh, it's I need to order from CPC then I can order something which I would normally not order because I would pay eight pounds for the delivery anyway so instead of oh, I see that's the whole bag of them of electrolytic capacitors and instead of you know like spending uh, eight pounds on the delivery I can <laughs> you see them now uh, I can spend 12 pounds on them and have delivery for free so You've got here, you've got here. That's what it is, guys. But customer was happy to order it for the amount which we've agreed, so it's a win-win for everybody. But I've got a wee saving, you know. Of course, if I would order these capacitors um, elsewhere, probably I would have them cheaper. Why you are so stubborn? So what I'm struggling with is this connector here. Yes, and you know if you count, uh, if you count order, oh now went out. If you count get, uh, how you call it? If you count get uh, those like me jacks elsewhere on the internet, and you need to order it on uh, through like the CPC, then you're looking for those bargains. Yes, of course you're looking because why you would waste the opportunity you normally don't order from the CPC yes I'm just curious why this one is so stubborn it should go out now because it doesn't hold okay the metal I forget them but the metal is okay because I was pulling from here and here there is nothing else the metal is in all of those X boxes to be true okay going off great But okay, maybe it's this way and then this way, not the other way. Yeah, okay. So that's everything. Clamp and that's us, to be true. Clamp and that's us. And the clamp, for those who don't know, well, you should know if you follow this YouTube channel, because all the clamps, clamps uh, apart from Xbox Series X, are like this from xbox one starting yes oh literally now you are stubborn that's us flat screwdriver stubborn look for wider screwdriver guys that's us now gently, don't put a lot of pressure because you'll damage it, you'll pay for it, yeah? So that's it, and that's our culprit here, okay? So let's get a, let's get a, I call it, edge. We've got an edge, let's get hot air. Let's take out this bit, and let's take out the port. Okay, cool, happy days. Okay, let's look up now. What we're, what we, what we have to do is those foams here. Yes, if you won't take off those foams right now, you'll burn them. And I'm going on a bet you will. 
because I would. I'm doing this and the two on a side, so the longer and the shorter ones. Oh, and now I can I can heat it up. This is is fine, and this is all fine. Yes, it's just that. Uh, okay, let's connect the power. Now what we need is the airflow. It will we will see it's it's quite high, but we need the heater on three quarters of the power on my one and we need this okay, let's get more to it now some people have different techniques how to do it but that's all I'm doing I'm just using this to gently to see when it's ready to let go and I don't use strong you know like strong power or anything to get it I'm just getting on the edge so it's lying loose and I'm getting from top and from bottom and then it's many times it just fallen off on its own I need to chase it and with this because it's too hot and that's it it's a thick board so don't expect it to be done within seconds you know you need to heat it up well so I'll pause it and I'll just take it away because what's the point it's no value for you guys watching it for like one minute or two how I'm doing it it's just it's just nothing interesting but I can't pull it yes that's the rule you can't pull it uh, too hard you can gently you know like uh, move it but if you will uh, okay let's let's wait you can skip if you don't want to you can't use a lot of power okay because if you will use a lot of power then what's happening is uh, is that you can increase the air uh, if you will use a lot of power you will damage the parts and then you have to fix the parts and many people won't fix the parts will just leave it as is and call it a no fix see how long it's you see on the live you know like I don't cut the video or anything at this point so you see how long it takes to do it yes still not moving Still not. You can skip or wait. I can't skip. You can hit the like button if you don't mind. That will help me because I like to see those likes. Still not. Told you. It will take some time. But now it start to melt something. Nope. Okay, let's increase the airflow. It is, it is going off. Yes, so we've got the port. Extraction completed. It's successful. Now we can look under the scope, but I'll pause it, let it go, let cool off this one and let's quiet this one. Yes, and then I'll be back. I've forgotten to 
turn on the recording. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I've placed only a flux uh, on this to help me with the uh, with spreading the solder and I will spread just a bit of leaded solder. get it off my tip for this uh, thick board is too small it's not a problem because we can use hot air as long as we don't pull we will be fine like if I would pull this now off then that would pull those paths yes okay we need to do it with hot air we, we can't do it like that where's my doesn't matter it's okay only we need this bit on and screw it <coughs> excuse me I've got only 10 minutes before getting ready for my kids so I might pause and then unpause when I'll be back <laughs> if I won't heat it up I won't be able to take out the solder now and I wanted to melt solder with a with a non-leaded solder which is you know unleaded solder uh, which is a uh, common sense because it's difficult later to apply uh, leaded solder if you've got that old one, yes? Oh, it's off. Now let's do it, but less airflow. brilliant so we've got the solder blob of solder here a bit of flux and one more time Awesome, awesome, I love it. Now what I like to do is Ow. Yeah, get this port out, that's That's my last port I just ordered on eBay at eBay six pounds one for this time I don't remember how much I paid the last time I would have to check it now let's check if pins are straight yes pins are straight so let's put a bit of uh, flux
Okay, once we've got a bit of flux, we can add a bit of solder onto those. Just a tiny bit of solder. Not enough. Oh, this doesn't want to hold. If it doesn't want to hold, that means it's oxidized. Oh, too much. Okay, let's put a bit of flux. Oh. Can take the excess. Something is not catching up properly. Still two pins are connected. And that's us. Okay. So now what we need is a hot air. Dump it. fits well yes okay so now we need it on the edge here 
Normally I'm doing it under the microscope, normally. Uh, but today I want to do it this way. To not use the microscope one time in a different way yes we will see if i will be able to do it because then you can see the process rather than like in other videos you know like uh, what's happening under the microscope always yes this time you can see the whole process from the above which is which is awesome because not always you can see from this angle yes let's get flux Okay, we've got flux. No, oh, that's a reminder. Okay, I've got five minutes. If I'm able to do it in five minutes, then we're we're done, and I can assembly after. Still not that hot, still not. Oh, now getting. and damaged I've got last port if I would damage it guys no way who said that I could drop it off to customers today I mean well give it back to the customer Need to get the light. It should just go inside on its own. I'll increase the airflow. And I need the light guys now.
Okay, heating time. This should sit down on its own. Okay, on the left sit down, but on this side doesn't wanna. Oh, now sit down. Okay, port is fine. But I need to finish it off when I'll be back because I will be late for my boys to school. But port is sitting flat and I see that pins are touching. I see some bridges, so I need to correct those bridges. If we would leave those bridges, of course it wouldn't work because data would be plus to minus. No way, yes? so i'll do that one underneath the microscope for you but that's it you know uh, for now if you want to see everything else there will be second part at the end of the video because that means something wrong with the recording and i'll just make another one yes as a part one and part two but if no you know we, we will finish it off uh, after the after me coming back from school see you soon okay guys so i'm back and uh, that was that was a bit of time about an hour <coughs> if you will see the end of the video right now it's mean that uh, hooking up to the um, microscope wasn't successful and we have part two other than that fingers crossed no issues and i will just connect it and we will see each other in this episode not in the next episode to finish this job because it's sitting flat pins are connected the only problem is that some of the pins are uh, connected together we can't leave it like that and i've checked one of the legs is not melted inside with a solder so that's need correction as well uh, it could be okay as is because this type of port has those extra securities here but if the job is worth doing let's do it right yes so be right back hope in this episode Okay, so let's risk it for a biscuit, yeah? Uh, we're going to the second view. Can you see okay? Hopefully you can. So I did check just before and we can see that it's only those two with a ground, yes? Yeah? So data, t data signal with a ground and data signal with a ground. The second and the fourth par. Uh, and th that's it you know that's it we can just touch more solder on the sides and test it out uh, but uh, i can touch that after cleaning this one and before checking i mean first uh, let's do this 
I won't be even cleaning this flux, uh, let it stay here, but what we need to is check it if that will give me a, a picture, because if it won't give me a picture, uh, we've got then at ESM filter, this, yes, this chip to be replaced. And I don't have it in stock, which is um, HDMI encoder. Uh, and yeah, let's, let's go to here. All we need is a bit of a flux. I know it's a lot of flux, but the more flux, the merrier. Okay. We've got iron and we can take it away, way, way. Oh, access on this one. See that it's not the greatest. It's going, it's no wow, but it's going. We're making a progress at least. Oh, it's holding. too high for me well, I'll cut I'll cut the piece to get different thing to cut it okay maybe quicker and we need a lot of flux guys to remove it quickly we need too much flux don't like to do uh, stuff which is least convenient did take the most but it's still some left so need to do it deeper this time okay, I'll cut it so it will wick quicker and as I said the more flux the quicker we will get through this problem I don't know if that's working. Okay, I see that it will take us some time, so I'll do quickly this one. And I'll pause and I'll just finish that one off so that it will be quicker because you don't have to watch me struggling with this. It's just that, you know, it's taking too much, too long time. When you're doing it, just make sure that uh, you don't touch any other components because if you do then you can burn them 
for some plastic. Oh, now it's. You wanna. Okay, this one. This one has only at the very, very end just a tiny bit, but it went better than the first one. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll pause and I'll finish these two off. Okay, guys, so I'm back and I've done it, and it's it's not the cleanest job but it is it is okay uh, I don't see any problems uh, it's, so it should be okay let me switch to the uh, to the table where I can continue assembling it I will put uh, I will clean up the CPU and put new thermal paste as always yes because each opening deserves for a new thermal compound. I'll switch on the soldering iron and I'll tidy up and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's make it official. Uh, I've cleaned the, this part and this part and where's our thermal grease? Here it is, okay, that's fine always a bit too much is the way to go remember the ideal amount of thermal paste is when you put it just a bit too much yes now i don't remember on those it was i think this way because that makes sense one two three four memories i've made those back together so it can squeeze and this a bit as well so it can squeeze because that's thermal transfer okay we've got it now we can get a clamp we've used a bit of brush to get rid of the uh, how do you call it to get rid of the dust okay now the same story here slightly to the center into the center okay. fine now to just test it to be true just to test it all we need is to hook up the fan I won't be even putting it uh, and the power supply power supply requires some dusting off as well now this this is back to where it belongs see this thingy need to go back so it can transfer the heat as it was Okay, this is this way. I'll be opening it anyway, so I only want to see if I need to order the, uh, the chip. So now I don't have a power button. So we need a power button. Where is the power? Here is the power button. Voila. And the cable. Okay, power cable. This okay, it's switched on, the fan is on. a picture or no luck oops it should be by now take it out no no change ah oh well Unfortunately, changing 
the port didn't help. Uh, okay, I'll switch it off. So it's the encoder. That's the pin, that's the problem. If you would check the specification, data sheet of the HDMI port, that's the uh, sensing, come on, switch off. Uh, that's the sensing uh, pin and that pin was shorted to the ground. So HDMI encoder was shorted to the ground. And that's no fun. Because if you short to the ground things which you shouldn't short to the ground, then it is what it is. So there will be probably a part two for this. I'll uh, switch off. I'll put those two cards. One card, yeah. The second card. We will try it one more time with those cards, which may be the newer version of the Xbox require them. I don't know. Oh, I need to switch to the, how you call it? Oh, here. Just in case I want to check it on the second TV as well. watch TV and I don't care about the TV you know I hate it you can't click the source and just pick up something else Set up TV. Oh. I'm telling you, sometimes I'm so smart. I don't want to have TV here, I don't watch TV. All I want is just literally have the uh, source. Thing when it's not sen it's not sensing something. It's HDMI. I I was right. I think when it's not sensing anything on HDMI, it doesn't wanna. Oh. So it is what it was. It's unknown after replacing the port. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we have to replace the encoder. We've got no other choice, and. You see it's 49 minutes recording, we spend on it like one and a half hours and I need to put it back. But without the encoder it won't work. Uh, so yeah, pretty much that's it. Guys, sorry that I took so much of your time. You see you can't sometimes fix everything. 
The problem as well is that I don't have encoders for Series S in stock. I had port, I ordered more uh, from eBay, but I don't have this because these are dear, you know, still they are not cheap. And then after some time you're ordering them and they are cheaper. So to be true, you know, it's, it's not really worth to order them. Uh, because I would have to charge customers more for them so that's it guys sorry that it took me 50 minutes to show you that replacing a uh, port HDMI port can be unsuccessful well it was successful but only the replacing the port but still no picture as we see thank you for watching see you in the next video uh, if you did like here's likes to you as well thank you for that I'm going to get to the customer and tell them bad news. Uh, but that's it in this episode. Uh, thank you. And see you in the next video. If there will be part two, for sure I'll post it. Yeah, take care. Bye-bye.